everyone welcome back to the java visited my name is natesh and you guys are watching that another video of this channel and in this video we'll have a look at the top tools for java developer which they can use particularly for uh, developing a uh, said like programs or said like uh, for an open source projects and basically for the development purposes uh, in java there are specific tools which can be used all right so we'll have a look at what are those tools and which are uh, one of the best tools you can learn as well as uh, the resources you can use to learn these tools as well without any further delay let's start this video and uh, let's get into my laptop screen all right so here are 10 essential unit and integration testing tools for java programmers let's look at what these are okay <clears throat> number one number one of course j units okay so even if you are a beginner programmer who is learning uh, java from basics say it like uh, arrays strings and data types and things like that j unit is basically one of the essential tools one of the essential tools you need to learn okay one of the essential tools so i'm all uh, here it is written almost all the major ideas like eclipse net beans and intellij i do provide j unit integration which means you can both write and run the unit test right from these id what are ide id is basically your code editor like eclipse or say like intellij and things like that okay all right let's go to the second uh, tool which is mockito okay so first one is j unit the second is mockito now look at here what i'm trying to say there are many mocking frameworks for java class of course like power mock j mock but the person who has written this has said that he prefers mockito for its simple api okay and if you would like to learn about mockito as such different then we can learn this uh, course has been also linked in the website you can just go click here and you can purchase that course on your domain okay let's go to the third one which is rest assured so rest assured so basically you need to understand rest assured is hard in java as compared to other dynamic languages such as groovy okay this tool is basically i'm underlining this you need to understand that this tool is basically harder in java as compared to the dynamic languages all right so you will you might ask me like where can i uh, how will i learn these tools at uh, once you need to understand these tools basically needs time for becoming a java developer right so you need to have a proper time scheduling and things like that then you will uh, eventually learn about this working for the open source projects and say like development services where these tools are eventually used and working for a startup where these tools are used then you can have a better understanding how these tools are basically used in uh, real world correct next to uh, next goes is the selenium so selenium is probably the most powerful tool for java ui testing okay so if you are not skipping the selenium i don't know why but please don't skip this uh, learning for selenium okay now you will ask me where can i learn this so don't worry again the link is given uh, it's basically on the udemy course you can purchase a individual course on udemy regarding selenium but if you would like to okay uh, else uh, if see these courses are basically like to have a uh, understanding of a particular tool there are courses on udemy which provides you an understanding of all the tools at once but it's it does not go go deep into that particular tool you understanding what i'm trying to say so particular when a particular course has been designed for a particular uh, tool then eventually you need to realize that you have gone in depth uh, in that course for that particular tool correct so the next is fifth one is test ng and test ng is a testing framework which is inspired by j unit and n unit okay now you need to understand the gap between j unit and test ng has reduced why you might ask me why the gap has reduced because of using annotations from j unit 4 and integrating the hamcrest matches as well as but it's up to you you understanding simple thing simple thing i'm i'm not trying to say see fifth tool is test ng if you would like to learn about this here is a course link and you can just purchase it this is one of the tools which java developers use correct straight to the point let's get into the sixth one which is spoke framework so spoke is what spoke is another testing and specific framework for java and groovy uh, where can i learn this we have given the link uh, to this course you can just go there and learn about this the seventh is cucumber so cucumber is basically another great tool and the question is what uh, makes it different from the other tools 
like here here it's given if you want to build to a start to finish web automation test framework and simulate user behavior on a web application or then then selenium web driver with java and cucumber bdd is a good course to both learn and implement cucumber in your project the eighth one is spring test so spring is spring mvc comes with a very useful test framework which allows doing in the testing without even starting a web container which is a very 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 good i feel like so it is one of the most useful libraries for writing automated tests for spring applications cool it provides first class support for writing unit and integration test to spring part application including mvc controllers all right so where you can learn about this here it's the course okay next let's move to the next one which is db unit so what is db db is basically database and this is very important a database is an integral part of many java applications both core java and web application you know what your whole like technology runs on the basis of data databases uh so like blockchain and uh, another technologies these all i'm not saying all but sorry i'm not saying all uh like if you look at the example for the databases and particularly database is mainly used okay so database unit has its own issue but it is a very useful tool why because it helps us to separate the test data creation from the tested code if you would like to learn about this you can just go to the udemy and search for database this course db unit in java you can learn about the same the last one is robot framework and when it comes to robot it comes to ai so which is the most preferred language for ai it's, it's python right so the robot framework is a python based okay it's basically based on python and generic test automation framework for accepts acceptance test and acceptance test driven development if you decide decide to learn this wonderful framework for integration tests then udemy's robot framework test automation is a great resource to start with cool like i have clicked here and you can see automatically uh, it will come okay to understand one thing that you won't learn these tools at a very first instant all right eventually all the things takes time to learn and i would like to tell you that if you uh, like to read all the stuff that is here don't worry link is given in the description to this website you can just uh, have a knowledge about what are the things which are written here and if you are uh, probably aim at becoming a java developer then i would definitely recommend you to uh, learn about these tools as well i'm not saying every tool but eventually you should have a basic understanding of the tools which i used for uh, which i used in java for the development purposes okay so this was all about the video i hope you guys like this video and if you guys do make sure you hit the like button subscribe to java revisited channel and if you have not watched the previous videos like html and java and garbage collector and a lot of different videos i would definitely recommend you to watch that and do hit the like button subscribe to channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye take care